Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean. Yesterday I showed you the easiest way to upload files to your web server using PHP. But the issue was that was we can only upload one file at a time. In fact, we can only upload one file at all. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to upload multiple files and how to handle that. Now the process is a little bit different and it can get a little tricky, so pay attention. Um, before we get started, let's just take a look at my upload uh, directory. So within htdocs, I'm working on a, in a folder called upload. I've got my index page, which is what this is right over here. And then I've got a folder called upload, which is the ultimate location that our uploads are going to reside in. So to get started, let's go ahead and go into our text editor. And we're going to start with the form. The action is going to equal nothing since we're only using one page. The method is going to equal post. And our ink type is going to be multipart slash form data. So let's start with our uh, file selector. We're going to say input type equals file. And the name is going to equal file for now. And let's do a paragraph break here and then let's do our submit button. So we'll ins input type equals submit and the name will equal submit as well. All right, so if we just take a quick peek at that, this is what it looks like. Now it says choose file and then our submit button. What we're going to do is we're going to modify this a little bit. Uh, in order to select multiple files, all we have to do is add one tag to this input field and it is multiple. So if I come back and I refresh this page, you see it now says choose files and I can select multiple files. However, in order to process those multiple files, they have to be in an array. So what we'll do is we'll just make an array out of a file, which by default means the first file that we choose is going to be 0, the second file that we choose is going to be 1, and so on. So let's go ahead and hop into our PHP. And the first thing that we always do is make sure that the submit button has been submitted. So we'll say if is set the post value of submit and then everything else kind of happens inside of here. Now with the with the files being in an array, we have to bounce through them kind of like a while loop or a for loop or a for each. Uh, there are many different ways of doing it. I like to use a for loop. So we'll start with x equals zero because that's the beginning value of an array. And then we're going to say x is less than the count of files file and we're going to use the name attribute and then we'll say x will increment by one alright so the way that this works here and if you watch the previous video you'll know that any any attachment that you upload is going to have some values in an array. It's going to have the name, it's going to have the file size, the type, and the errors, and the temporary name. Um, we're just going to base this off of the name for now since that will be unique. Uh, so likewise what I could do is the same thing I did before. I can give the name uh, the value of files file which the file right here is nothing more than whatever we named it down here and we'll grab the name and then there's one more step we have to tell it which part of the array we're talking about and of course we're talking about zero at this point and then as many files as there are it's going to loop through this okay so let's just copy and paste this a few more times we'll have the size the type and the temporary name and we'll adjust these accordingly. So now what I can actually do is echo out, we'll say name, size, type, and then the temporary name. And let's just see what that does. Let's go ahead and refresh our page here. I'll select my two files that I'm using to test with. I've got test.pdf and test.text. I'm going to submit these. And let's see here. Temp name. I made a typo. There we go. Let's try that again. 
Okay, so you can see that we've got the name of the document, the size of the document, what type of document it is, and then the temporary location. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this. And we can process the rest of the form pretty much the way that we did before. We can say um, if size is larger than, well, I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and specify some values here. Let's back up just a minute. We'll say uh, the max size is going to equal 1024 times 200, which will be 200 kilobytes. Uh, we'll also say that the accepted file types, accepted equals, we'll say text, well, we'll do this in an array, which is different than the way that I did this last time, and I'll explain that here in just a minute. We'll say, whoops, text and PDF. And then the directory that these will ultimately reside in is going to be uploads. There we go. All right, so now we can say if max size is greater, let's see here, if we say if size is greater than max size, then we'll echo your file. Well, we'll say name is too large. Okay, and now there's something else that I want to show you that I didn't do last time. Now the last time we had uh, just specified application slash PDF or image slash JPEG um, to upload a particular type of file, but that wouldn't work whenever you're using an array. Uh, there's something else that we can use, and that's called the path info. Um, basically, what we can say is else if not in array path info and we're going to give the name or I'm sorry the yeah the name and we're going to grab the extension of that so path info extension and that's going to be based off of our accepted list All right, so let me explain how path info works. Um, let's say I have a file. And it's just called mypage.php. Okay. If I was to print path info of PHP, This is what it would look like. It would be in an array. That array contains the directory name, which is dot, the base name, which is mypage.php, and the extension is dot php, or just php in this instance. So what I can do in that regard is show file comma path info extension and that's just going to show the PHP extension so that's an easier way for us to um, only allow whatever is in this array okay if that's a little complicated make sure you check out php.net even w3schools has a nice little write-up about that uh, so what we'll say is echo name is not an acceptable file type however the documents that we're uploading are within this so we can say else and this is where we'll move uploaded file from the temp name to our directory 
and then whatever we want the file name to be which I'm just going to keep it the same so we'll say name name and then we'll say echo files uploaded successfully alright so providing I don't have any syntax errors uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot so let's go ahead and reload this page I'm going to choose the test.pdf and the test.txt and I'll hit submit files uploaded successfully but then it says test.txt is too large that's because that text document is 900k so what I should have said was name uploaded successfully so if I was to do this again this is what would happen test.pdf uploaded successfully test.txt is too large if I bump this up to 2000 try it again now it's going to show that they were both uploaded successfully and then of course I can take a look in my uploads folder and there they are so uh, a little bit of a different process in this one this is one of those things where the more you do it the more you'll get the hang of it uh, things can throw you a curveball whenever you start looking at um, variables and super globals that aren't really in your built-in library of things that you know but these are little tricks that can come in handy um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will probably butcher your answer, but uh, feel free to ask anyway, and I'll see you guys in the next one.